Thanks be to God for this blessed time in Indonesia. I'm here with the doctor Taralang Tambunan. Taralang Tambunan yeah. in Indonesia is yeah. the senior most doctor yeah. in Indonesia who worked for the government and for the society for the welfare of Indonesia for 57 years almost. Yeah. And I thank God for doctor yeah. and the people of Indonesia. Yeah. Let us pray before we receive the blessings from the throne of grace. Okay. Let us pray. Yeah. Father, we come to you through the blood of Jesus to thank you for this blessed time. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. We thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for your help and guidance. We thank you for this blessed country, Indonesia. We thank you for President, Prime Minister, Government authorities, and the people of Indonesia. We bless them with the word of salvation. We thank you for every church, every saint, every servant of God, all the believers. We bless them with your heavenly blessings, O oh Father God. And I thank you for all the unbelievers. We bless them with the word of salvation. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for helping us to know more about Jesus and to become like Christ. Every fear, every disturbance, every plan of Satan be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for your help and your love, your blessings. We love you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God for this blessed time yeah. in Indonesia. Yeah. Today is 2nd uh, June oh, yeah. 2016. Yeah. And I'm happy to be here as a missionary in Indonesia. And I have a blessed yeah. doctor and the father of many children. I call him Dr. Abraham <laughs> because he's a blessed man of God yeah. with a good experience as a Christian medical doctor. My dear children of God, John 3.16, For God so loved the world, so he gave his only begotten Son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Praise be to God. Lord Jesus Christ came into this world first time for every human being. For Muslims, for Hindus, for Buddha, for Chinese, for all the unbelievers, for every human being on this planet here. Yeah. Lord Jesus died on the cross for everyone and after three days he rose again. Jesus Christ of Nazareth loves you so much. Jesus is coming again. Yeah. We are blessed to be here in the house of God. This is a blessed house of our dear doctor. Doctor, could you please let us know when were you graduated from the medical college? Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity. I was graduated in December 1968 as a medical doctor at the University of Indonesia, Jakarta. Praise God. Yeah. And I came to know that you are the most experienced doctor in the hospital and in the Christian community and yeah. Indonesia. Yeah. Could you please let us know what is your age, how many, experience, how many years of experience yeah. you have? Uh, I've already now nearly 75 years old. I was born in 1941, October 5. So you see, you can imagine how old I am. Praise God. Yeah. Thanks be to God yeah. for the grace of God upon your lives. Yeah. And then after I have graduated uh, at the University of Indonesia, and then I get the subspecialist in pediatrics and I was graduated as a pediatrician in 1973, uh, 1973 and afterwards after that I get a subspecialty in nephrology okay uh, since 1968 uh, 80, 87 maybe mm, mm. praise God yeah and I have a chance uh, the opportunity to teach the application of Christian uh, science in medical uh, school or uh, University of Indonesia for maybe more than 10 years. Praise God. Uh, 1986 uh, up to 2008. Praise yeah. God. 12 years. Praise God. Yeah. As a Christian medical doctor, what have you taught to the Christian doctors in the medical colleges? Yeah. Could you please let us know, you, ha you are a teacher of the yeah. Bible and you are a professor yeah. and you are a professor to, a professor to the yeah. medical students yeah. and you are a doctor, you are more experienced and I thank God for the experience. Could you please uh, help us to know some of your uh, challenges, advices yeah. and experiences to the churches, to the Christians and yeah. to the Christian doctors? Yeah. Uh, 
during I was as a teacher in Christian science and for medical students, I teach them, uh, for instance, uh, Christian ethics, occultism, Christian and family planning, Christian and abortion, Christian and euthanasia, something like that. All of them. What is your view on abortion, dear doctor? Yes, uh, I have told my uh, all medical students abortion is bad and bad. It's, it's not, against the word of God. Yeah, it Praise is not God. ethically Christianity. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And how about the child marriages? Child marriages, uh, friendly speaking, is not so... Maybe in Christian uh, uh, people it's not like that, but Muslim, yes. Okay. Sometimes okay. they have married before 50 years of age. Okay. Something like that. So, so many divorce. And how marriage. about the... Uh, mercy killing. Mercy killing is not allowed here in our country. Okay. Uh, up to now, yes. Praise Strictly. God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. And what would you like to advise to the young uh, Christian doctors? And what would you like to encourage Christian leaders with your uh, experience? Uh, firstly, be a Christian, and then be a doctor. Praise Christian God. first, and then get doctor, some specialist, something like that, but firstly you must be a Christian. Praise God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what are the experiences? Did you see any miracles uh, in your practice? Can you tell us at least one or two experiences as uh, Lord moved mightily yes. when the medical science failed, when the medicine failed, but the power of God worked mightily in the, in the operation, in the lives of the patient? Yes. So many, but I have forgotten all, uh, all, <laughs> all of them. Okay. I have one patient, you know, firstly, his name is Han Chan Lei. Okay. And at one time when he was worse and worse condition, his name was changing to Muhammad Ali. Okay. So I'm surprised to so why this happened. I asked the parents, have you ever heard about Jesus? Hmm. Yes, I have it. But, but why do you change the name of your child like that? I want to be uh, free from this disease. Hmm. Uh, who knows? After I have changed my, the name of my child, and hmm. then it, they will get healthy. I see Jesus hmm. is a doctor. You know that? Okay. Uh, finally, the patients uh, die, but. Surprisingly, 15 years after that, one family come to my house here in this place. You still remember me? No, no, excuse me, no. I am the parents of Tan Chan Lei. Now, as a, uh, you know, a Christian uh, penatua, what is penatua? Uh, in Bandung. I will be a Christian now. I work in Christian uh, church. Praise God. Yeah. Because so you shared the love of Christ to the patient, yeah. and the patient's parents yeah. received the love of Christ and yes. accepted Jesus Christ yeah. as their personal Savior. Yeah. Yeah. And today they are Christians yeah. and they are strong leaders yeah. for the kingdom of God. Yeah. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. other experiences would you like to share Second with your daughter? My patient Julianti, maybe you know that, that patient one, one year ago, we have uh, prayed for her. Yes. Uh, formally, I don't know about her belief, but I have said we have prayed for you. Yes. I don't know, he's not a believer for us. But afterwards, uh, our uh, priest. I tell to our priest, would you play for this patient first? Yes, and they come. And then we take the mother, yeah? We ask the mother, would you uh, accept Jesus as your Savior? Yes, I am a Christian. And up to now, yes. Praise God. Thanks be to God for the love that He shares to the patients. And thanks be to God for the prayers yeah. that He offers before He does, before He diagnoses the patients with the word of God, with the word of prayer. Yeah. And thanks be to God for the Holy Spirit leading through Him 
to bless many children. He is the father for many doctors and for many people in Indonesia. And we call him Father Abraham. Oh. <laughs> Thanks be to God. So and we have a blessed a real doctor, physical doctor, yeah. Dr. Irene. Could you please come yeah. and share a few thoughts uh, yeah. along with your father? And I'm happy to see Dr. Irene. This is my daughter. Praise She's, God. She is also a doctor. Yes. Could you yes. please tell us uh, one or two experiences as a Christian doctor in the government hospital yeah. in Jakarta? <laughs> yeah. because we are we are not don't know what to do next but uh, after that the 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 patient can uh, walk up and can extubate and send home that's a very uh, a good hands for helping praise patient. god thank you dear dr irene yeah. for your beautiful experience yeah. prayer changes things Lord Jesus says in the John the Gospel chapter 14 verse 14 whatever you ask in my name I will give you thanks be to God when we ask as a doctor sometimes as a doctors they fail medicine may fail money will not give us the life that we need in this world my dear children of God but thanks be to Lord Jesus Christ Jesus died for you and I on the cross and Jesus rose again after three days Jesus is alive John 14 verse 19 help us to know because Jesus lives, you and I shall live tomorrow. And the book of Isaiah 53 verse 5. By the wounds of Lord Jesus, we are healed. And I thank God for these blessed doctors who pray before they handle any patient. And thanks be to God for the anointing and the wisdom of God upon these doctors. And they are a blessing to many patients and many doctors and to the church on the whole. And I'm blessed to be here in Indonesia and to receive the blessings from our father, Dr. Abraham. <laughs> and I thank God. Dear children of God, prayer changes. Jesus is Son of God. Jesus is God. Lord Jesus is the way, truth and life. Believe in Jesus and receive your miracle. Sometimes medicine may fail. Doctors may fail. Things of this world will not help you to receive the healing. But Jesus is the healer. Believe in Jesus. In the book of Exodus 23, my dear children of God, Lord Jesus says, I am the God that healeth thee. Isaiah 53 verse 5, by the wounds of Lord Jesus, you are healed. Believe in Jesus and receive your miracle. Lord Jesus is coming again into this world to establish his kingdom, to judge the whole world as a judge, righteous judge. My dear people of God, Jesus is coming again. Believe in Jesus, receive your miracle. I'm going to pray for you all. We are going to pray together. Yeah. Father, we come to you through the blood of Jesus to thank you for this blessed time. Thank you for using these blessed anointed doctors for your kingdom. And I thank you, dear Holy Spirit, for their experiences, their love, and their prayer. So, Father, for the patients, for the churches, and for the people. And I thank you, dear Holy Spirit of God, for all the patients who are in the hospital. We bless them with the word of salvation. Thank you for the wisdom and knowledge that you give us to bless your kingdom. Thank you for everyone who is listening to the word of God. Dear children of God, if you are listening to the 
message first time say this prayer with me i believe in jesus jesus died for me on the cross jesus died for me on the cross and i am a sinner i am a sinner please forgive me please forgive me i welcome you jesus i welcome you jesus into my heart into my heart as my lord as my lord as my personal savior as my personal savior i love you jesus i love you jesus use me for your kingdom use me for your kingdom in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray amen amen my dear children of god when you pray like this you will see the miracles of lord jesus in your life god bless you shalom shalom, shalom.